You are my captive audience. I've trapped you inside my little web. Let me talk about spiders right now. You watching this. I'm sure you know someone afraid of spiders. Maybe you're afraid of spiders too. I certainly was. But it seems like everyone is afraid of spiders. Like, disproportionately so. Why? My name is Roswell, and let's get to the bottom of it. How dangerous are spiders? Almost all spiders are somewhat venomous, meaning when they bite their prey, they inject venom that paralyzes them for later eating. Venomous is a big scary word, but it doesn't always mean dangerous. Most spiders' venom is meant for creatures a thousand times smaller than us, so it doesn't really do anything except make you go zoinks and then forget about it. There are over 50,000 species of spiders in the world, and sources give different numbers, but there's a consensus that less than half a percent of them are considered medically significant to us humans, specifically 10 genera of spiders. For the US specifically, these are the only two types found. I'm sure you've heard of them. It's important to note that medically significant does not mean fatal. The CDC estimates around seven deaths from spider bites in all of America every year, and other sources say less, but actual records of any spider bite fatalities whatsoever that are verifiable and attributed to species are insanely hard to come by. It's, it's a whole thing. Either way, 100,000 people die yearly from alcohol consumption, so I think I'll stick to drinking my spiders. <laughs> But even if spiders were completely harmless, people would still be afraid of them. And there are sort of two sides when it comes to why. It's either an innate evolutionary response to avoid danger, or the societal perception of spiders and how it perpetuates fear. I myself think, like most things, that it's probably a mix of both. Spiders and scorpions are part of the same taxonomic class, Arachidna. Stay with me! They're very similar. Both are venomous creatures with eight legs, no antenna, and two chelicera but scorpions are significantly more dangerous to us. Some believe that our fear of spiders stems from an ancestral evolutionary fear response to scorpions, where we sort of lump the two chelicerates together in our danger signals to avoid getting hurt. However, this claim is extrapolated only from a study in which participants ranked their feelings of fear, disgust, and beauty when looking at a variety of insects. Scorpions and spiders elicited very similar emotional reactions from participants, but this evidence is still not really definitive of anything, in my opinion. To this side's credit, though, there was another study that measured babies' reactions when shown pictures of spiders when compared to flowers, and found that the stress reactions weren't in fact higher when looking at the spiders, at an age presumably too young to have been influenced by societal factors. Even if you've never been bitten by a spider, when you grow up with your parents afraid of spiders and your friends all afraid of spiders, you're eventually going to internalize the idea that spiders are something to be afraid of, no matter how much you like them. This kind of thing is easy to learn, and exceptionally hard to unlearn, especially because most people already find spiders visually unappealing. When I asked friends and family what they found most scary about spiders for this video, not a single person said their bite or their danger, but rather that they didn't like the way they walked, or that they were weirdly hairy. They have basically the opposite of pretty privilege. Plus, most people don't go out of their way to learn about spiders, and they absorb most of their information by chance from the internet and the news, both mediums that are incentivized to evoke strong emotional reactions from their viewers. Therefore, in the majority of these stories, they cover bites and generally have a negative opinion of spiders, and a study of accuracy in global news reporting on spiders found that nearly half of spider news stories contained blatant inaccuracies and only slightly less were sensationalist in nature. Fear often thrives in the lack of knowledge, and that concept exactly is what stopped me from being afraid of spiders myself. In high school, I got super into looking for bugs on my family vacation. I'd take awful, grainy little photos of any that I could find, which were mostly butterflies and dragonflies at the time, but occasionally a spider too. Despite my terror, I'd put my phone up really close and then book it. I'd sit in the house and Google spider species, scrolling and scrolling despite the heebie-jeebies looking at their hairy little legs gave me, until I found out what kind it was. And as the years passed and I took more and more photos and learned more and more, I found I started feeling more excited than scared to see spiders in the wild. There's something really exhilarating about seeing a spider and being able to recognize it immediately. I found so much joy in getting to know the species that live around me, and learning about them is really the biggest thing that's helped me see them as more than just scary. If you're looking to become less afraid of spiders, but don't know where to start in terms of learning about them, I have two really wonderful YouTubers I'd like to recommend. First is Spencer Hoffman from My Wild Backyard. He does a bunch of videos where he finds a spider and holds it while teaching his audience all about them. And he takes a lot of care to show how gentle and unwilling most of these spiders are to bite him unprovoked. And it's clear he has a genuine love and respect for the animals that he's handling. The second is Travis McHenry, who does a lot of informational deep dives on very specific spiders. They're super interesting, really well-researched, and funny too. 
And of course, if you yourself have a recommendation, write it in the comments and I'll definitely check it out. At the end of the day, there's no one reason that people are scared of spiders. But if you take each factor and familiarize yourself with it, it becomes easier to deconstruct your own assumptions and build a new understanding. Of course, I can talk all I want about fearing spiders, but the reality is I'm still scared of them too. I can't bring myself to pick up a spider that I find in the wild, but I've come a very long way, believe me. There's so much to appreciate about them that I could never fit into a video, and the more time I spend with them, the less scared I become. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you thought or what I should talk about next. If you want to find me online, my socials are on screen now. I, I don't know what to say. Keep, keep on spider in. <laughs>